Hey everybody, it's Melanie Ferguson here with Southern Crush at Home, where I hope to inspire you all to create and decorate a home that you love. As you hop on, say hello to me. If you are catching this on replay, just let me know by saying replay. If you are catching me live, come on in. I'm just testing out using um, a different way to go live, so bear with me. I'm just excited to be here, guys. I wasn't sure um, if it was going to let me go live. Hey, Eileen. Hi, Angel. How is everybody today? Hey, Rita. So I'm going to make it short and sweet because I don't want to get kicked off of here and I don't want to get in trouble. So hey, Cheryl. Hey, Sandra. So for those of you who are just hearing about it, I don't have the ability to go live through my own profile right now. So I am just, I'm on my daughter's old profile and here we are. Hey Mary, hey Patty, hi Evelyn. How are you Rita? So glad to see you all here. So we're gonna do some stamping tonight, okay? So let's let's get ready, let's get busy. Let's get, let's, let's get on with it, right? Um, okay. So first of all, I'm just taking some terracotta pots and these are just from, uh, these are from the Dollar Tree. They're calling them clay pots, clay pots. Hey Donna, hey Kathy, hi Karen, how are you? Hey Miss Linda Deaton, how are you my friend? So I've never used these Dollar Tree clay pots before but they look like they're gonna do the trick. I have so many of those little, do, if you guys have been following me for a while, and if you haven't, just hit the button below. But um, I got all of those cuttings gifted to me, and so I'm going to be planting them. They're stuck together, y'all, and I'm afraid I don't want to break anything. Let me see. Oh, they came free. So we're going to decorate these two little pots tonight. It is nothing earth shattering or mind blowing. It's totally um, plain Jane excitement over here, but maybe you haven't seen it before. I do not know, but we are going to stamp, plant, uh, plant them. We are going to paint them and then stamp them and then plant them. I will plant them later. So Facebook just now told me that I was live. They're trying out all sorts of new stuff. Hey, Christine. How are you, Natalie? So, all right. The first thing we're going to do is paint these a little bit. So we're just going to do a dry brush technique. If you guys aren't familiar with dry brushing, it's literally where you take the paint and a dry brush and you don't get it wet at all hardly with the paint. So this is just some Waverly chalk paint, guys. I use it in almost every single project. And if, again, you've been following me for a while, you know, I just pour it into the lid. Um, kind of a, a lazy crafter that way. So I'm just gonna put a little bit uh, much in here. Hold on, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna be multitasking, hold on. I'm gonna take the, oh well, okay, it just went in the bucket. Oh, it's coming out both sides of the, poof. Got, I got a hair in my mouth. All right, y'all, I saved the day, saved it. I put a little too much in and it went over the edge, but we got it all in there now. So I'm gonna point this down a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Thanks, Deborah, so much. Hey, Debbie, hey, Trudy, yay, first time, welcome, welcome. All right, hey, Pam, I'm gonna point this down for you all. Um, yeah, we've been having all sorts of weird trouble, Joanna. I don't know what the trouble is. So a little dot went in there and that's okay. I'm just going to um, take, I just have this much on my brush. I'm actually, y'all, don't laugh. You can laugh if you want, but I'm using an index card. It's very technical. So I'm gonna just kind of brush some off on the index card, all right? This is how I roll. If um, you don't like it, there are lots of people to follow. <laughs> But this is how I do it. So I'm just putting a little, I'm offloading the brush onto the, um, index card. And I'm just gonna put what's left onto my pot. So I'm not gonna do a heavy coat of paint on here, just a light little, um, just to get some, just to get some on here. I mean, I want some coverage. I want a little more coverage, y'all but we're gonna dry brush this. Oh, Linda Tate, you're too sweet to me. Thank you so much. She said she loves it, so I know some of you are here for it, and I appreciate it. 
You guys have no idea. Without you, the social media world is very boring. So, hey, Miss Amber, you caught me live. Woohoo! We are just painting up some pots. Amber's my sweet, dear friend. She's got the amazing page, Amber Strong. Um, it's also known as The Maker's Map is her blog. And she has the handle on Facebook called At The Rusty Nail GA. So that is a store she used to have. We are both fellow ex-shop owners. Um, so her store used to be called um, The Rusty Nail, and it's in Georgia. And mine used to be called um, Southern Crush. And then I brought my business home. So it's Southern Crush at home. So you'll never forget it, right? You'll never forget it again. I'm just kind of going back over this, but this is kind of where we're at with the surface. Nothing, again, nothing earth shattering. It's just getting some paint on there. I want a little bit thicker, y'all. Again, I'm gonna do one more layer. So I'm doing this in small layers so that I don't get too much at one time. Hey, Tabitha Hudgens, how are you? What is everybody doing? It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday all day. All day till we where our head hits the pillow. So, um, I don't know. Today, my dog got groomed. So, she's running around mad at us, of course. Because, um, you know, dogs don't love the groomers, typically. I don't know. If your dog loves the groomer, then you're, you're special. But my dog doesn't love, love, love the groomer. This is coming along much better now. I'm on the third layer of dry brushing and I'm re it's really starting to, it's really starting to get the look that I was, I was really wanting. So we are gonna make these look a little bit kind of like a French. Cheryl, you just painted four, hold on. You just painted four glass mason jars today um, and solar lights in each of them. Yay! We did that over in the uh, VIP group uh, with a celebrity crafter last spring. Um, let's see here. We have Kathy loves the dry brush look and Amber loves using the terracotta pots. I know they're so fun. So I have another technique that I'm going to use on the pots. Um, not tonight, but I'm going to be making another pot that I have been just holding back on for a while and it's gonna be using this amazing, and it's more gonna be like the amazing color combination than it is the actual technique, cause it's gonna be decoupaging y'all and we all know how to do that, but it's gonna be really cute with the colors. Okay, so this pot is kind of coming along. This is pretty much how I love it. I'm gonna let that set for a minute. And guys, the great thing about terracotta is it's already dry, it's already dry. It's, it's pretty instant, especially with the dry brush technique. So let's, let's get the second one done. I might go a little thicker on it just because I kind of, I'm gonna see what the two different looks like. So see how much thicker I went on that one? And now I'm gonna just work it all in. And that sure sped it up. I was a little bit nervous. Hey, Sherry Patterson, how are you? So Sherry's a sweet friend. She's been live in our VIP group before and she has the page uh, Kirby Ladies Crafting. She makes some really cute, adorable things on there. Just love, love, love her. And she's done so many, um, she's she's done some cute things over in our Craftathon, which is coming up guys, the Summer Craftathon. I just met with my assistant for the summer craftathon this morning. Guys, it's like it's coming. It's coming. It's June 6th and 7th and mm, I will be actually sharing with you guys the design for the craftathon, the summer one, uh really shortly here. So this one is a little bit thicker, like I said. Just want to spread it out a little bit more. And what you can do, if you feel like you have too much in any one spot, you can always go back over it with um, sandpaper or a sanding block, which I, I left in the kitchen today. 
um, if you want to lessen it, but I kind of like it. I'm going to try to soften, soften, I always make fun of things. I go, I kind of want to soften the edges of some of this um, part right here. Hey, Wanda, how are you? Hey, Stacia, thanks for greeting everybody. Yes, Jamie, the t-shirt design. The t-shirt design and the site, uh, you know, the banner for the Summer Craftathon, you guys should be able to see that by the end of this week, by the end of this week. All right, so we have two pots and they're a little bit different in the techniques. One's a little thicker than the other. Um, I like both of them. Just gonna put that right there. I like both of them. And um, I'm gonna get this lid on here. You like both looks, Linda. Thank you, I do too. I'm gonna see if I can't get that on there like that. And I do have a couple of wipes handy, so there's that. Did y'all know we used to call these things, you know, some of you aren't old enough, but like they were handy because they were handy wipes. They used to be handy wipes. Now we just all use baby wipes and we call them wipes. But yeah, handy wipes. They were handy wipes, they were handy. And oh my gosh, y'all, I'm getting this everywhere. Just wanna make sure the lid gets on because nobody wants to open up a dried up thing of dried paint. You can't wait to see the final different ones. Yes, Jamie, they're gonna be so cute. Um, you're about to move, Carol, yeah. Moving is a huge thing. When I was selling real estate, uh, full blast is what I like to call it, full blast. Um, you know, I learned quickly that it is one of the top four most stressful things you can do is to move. So, all right, we are going to get to our stamping. So I thought we'd use these amazing Maker Studio. I have a link for you guys if you're interested in grabbing some of these stamps. Um, but these are just stamps that you will use to stamp the pots, okay? It's gonna be really easy, really, um, really a fast project, y'all. Good evening, Bonnie. Oh, you remember Gloria, the handy wipes? They are funny, they are funny. Okay, I always screw these up. So you peel them off. I think you actually, I think you have to, you cut them to stamp. So I'm, I'm gonna cut out two different choices and I'm gonna have you guys help me pick. You called them butt wipes, that's so funny. Hold on. There is a backing, so there's a backing to the stamp. Oh, you have to be strong, you have to be really strong to open them and don't handle scissors while you're doing it because that's probably a bad thing. And I already had cut that one before, so hold on open it. I'm going to open it like so. I want to get, I want to get to this one for sure. Um, I love this one right here, the flower. And then I like this little kind of wheat looking stem. And then I like these down here, this little, um, I don't know what that is y'all, but it's going on my pot. Oh, thank you, Rena. You're too, you're too sweet to me. Speaking of funny and cute, I <laughs> launched a video today. I don't know how many of you guys got a chance to go down on the feed and look at it. Some of you just got home from work or what have you, but um, it's the cutest little bunny. It's kind of funny. I made it out of these paddle balls that I got from Dollar Tree, you know, the ones with the game, with like the ball and the string. And um, I don't know, I thought he turned out kind of funny, kind of, kind of cute, kind of, kind of funny. Okay, I'm trying to decide, I don't know, we'll, we'll just cut all these out, these three or four, and we'll just decide as we go. You saw the video, Terry. What did you think? Um, oh, the baby wipes will clean up the stamps really well. So that's good. So this is one of the ones I cut out. I like it. I'm trying to get over here to this floral one. Floral-ish. I don't think I, I don't know if I like the ones that have the words on them. 
because it, I don't like the I love you for this project. Um, and then the our family is fine, but it just says our family. Um, I mean, I could say, I could put the little heart and I could say family, you know, but I think I'm going to stick to florals. Just kind of leave it sort of this French theme. So we have this one. We have two of these stamps, and then we have this one. Oh, you love the bunny, Jan? So these are our stampages. Oh, Rosemary, you saw it too. You guys are so sweet. Where did you get the stamps? I'm going to send you, I'm going to put the link. I'm going to put the link right here for you guys. So this is the site that I get all of my stamps from, but I want you to know that this link that I am giving you is not uh, going to be, you're not going to land on the stamps, okay? You're going to land on, I think, stencils or something, but just keep shopping that site, and that's the site with everything on it. Okay, so we are on this pot first, the one we painted first, and we're going to grab, I don't have my pouncer, so normally I would use a pouncer for, you know, these stamps. This is the big long stamp. And I could go all the way around the pot, but I don't know. That's kind of cute too, huh? We could go all the way around the pot, but good luck getting the stamp on there straight like that for, for um, it being all the way around. So I'm just going to, I'm going to play it safe with you guys. You know, when you do stuff live, like you can pretty much be guaranteed it's going to mess up, right? So you just want to play it safe. All right, so I'm just grabbing, this is Dollar Tree um, acrylic paint. It's nothing special or exciting, um, and it's never been opened. Looky there. All right, we would have had a hard time getting any out. Where do you get the pouncer? Jamie, um, you can get the pouncer anywhere. I get them at Dollar Tree has them. Um, I have a little pack of pouncers from Dollar Tree. They are, have a little yellow sponge um, tip. And then um, you can get them at Harbor Freight. You can get them at Amazon. You can get them anywhere. Shirley, you lo loved it. You went and bought two of the paddles today and you're going to make one. Well, that's awesome. Yay. Okay, I'm going to put this back together. Get us a little bit of black paint on here. Because with the stamps, I can't get away with just putting the paint directly on them. All right, like I can get away with that for a lot of things. Oh gosh, it comes out fast. Huh? Am I starting soon? Terry, I don't know what you mean. That would look really cute all the way around. Yes, it would. So I don't have a, 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 a the pouncer on me and I'm not gonna call and ask my husband because he's probably gonna be like, what the heck is a pouncer? And I'd have to be like, it's the round one and it's up there and it's to the right. And then he'll come back and say, it wasn't there. So um, I <laughs> have this huge um, sponge um, what is this called y'all? A sponge brush? Um, I can't remember what it's called. Mine isn't watery. Yeah, it's not a chalk paint. So it's just, uh, some acrylic paint. I'm going to just kind of smudge my, uh, And I don't really need it all over it. I'm gonna offload it a little bit. And then let's just start with the big, let me just see here, y'all. What do we wanna start with? This one's kind of big. I'm wondering if I can get it across right there. Do you think? A sponge brush, Kimmery, thank you. Foam brush, Pam, they're all, I think, the same. So. The way you do this is you cut it out and you use this to hold like a stamp, okay? And I'm just gonna apply it. I'm trying to get um, our ink. So you could totally use ink or you can use this technique, which I'm using, which is just paint. Cause I don't even know I might have my stamp pad over here. I might try the stamp pad for some of the other pieces. 
but here's here's where we're at. I've got a little bit of my again make make believe ink on it. And we are going to just see how it stamps. And the fun thing about these guys is it doesn't have to be perfect. And in fact, it's prettier if just like partial of the stamp gets on there. So I'm excited to see what we have. Give me just a second. I got way more paint than I need. I may not even want to try the stamps just because I've got, I mean the stamp pad, because I've got so much paint here to try, I mean to work with. So I would see it a lot better if it was a different color than the actual um, raised image on here, but they're both black, so I can't really tell where I have the paint and where I don't. But we're gonna just go for it, because you guys are always good sports to kind of just kind of see what happens. Y'all are good sports to always just let me, let y'all be the guinea pigs. So here we are, we're gonna stamp. And this is going to go, I think I'm gonna go up, up, upwards with it because it's gonna go, I wanna be able to clean it up if it doesn't go over this very well. Because part of it's gonna go on here and part of it's not. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but I need to make sure that I get a little bit of it and the fun part is if it messes up, I can just paint over it. In a perfect world, guys, I would be standing up. It did okay. It did okay. I wanted a little bit up on the top part here. I'm not in love with it, but we're gonna go even better on the next one. Hold on guys, I just don't think that, hang tight, I don't think that, I don't think that my ink pad is gonna do very well because it, um, it's ink, it's not actual um, paint, which I felt like was gonna show up better but we're gonna try it, you guys, we're gonna try it. So here's the blank pad, the stamping pad. I'm gonna place it on my ink pad here. And I'm just gonna waller it around on here. Yeah, y'all get to learn through me, Gloria. It's like, oh, what not to do. Okay, I've got it on there. Again, you probably can't tell the difference between having it on there and not having it on there. But I'm trying to see if I can fit any more designs on this one or if I'm gonna need to move on to the next. I'm gonna move on to the next pot because I don't really see a good spot to put this one on there. Uh, let's see, so we've got the pot and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this on here, y'all. Just stamping it on, making sure it stamps. Oh, it's a little better with the ink, go figure. So this is with the ink. I'm liking the ink way better than the um, paint. Y'all, the paint was just a hot mess. I'm just gonna be honest. So I'm gonna get this off of my stamp. I mean, it's like, hello, stamp, ink pad. I mean, of course, they make blocks for these stamps. Well. I just think it's easier to use the pad that it came on. All right, so I'm going to toss my other thing right there. And we're gonna add to this pot right here, okay? 
So I have this really cute stamp that in a perfect world I might we just leave this like this this would be cute and I could even like write something on here but for our purposes I think we're gonna keep decorating it I'm just looking to see if there's other ways I can uh, place the stamps, you guys, as opposed to, you know, just plain. I kind of like that. What do you think? It almost looks like baseball stripes. <laughs> so I could do that or we could go with this flower, which I want to go with, but I'm really not seeing a good way to add it. I may just put it on the complete opposite side, you guys. So how about over here? Oh, you love the paddle bunny, Melanie. I'm so glad we were just ch chatting, talking about that. We were like, oh, Lena, what do you mean Q? Oh, cute. Gotcha. Yay. I'm so glad y'all like that. That was what I was going to go live with on Sunday night when I got kicked off. So we're going to stamp this on the opposite side of this. And that way we have two... two sides of the pot, I guess, right? I don't know why I hold it on here like it's gotta dry. It really just has to stamp. Pretty darn cute, pretty darn cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side of this one that's not as great. And I'm gonna try to stamp stamp it into action. I'm gonna stamp on down. These are just kind of fun to do. Like I have many, many more of these little two potted pots from Dollar Tree and I think I'm gonna just do different things with each one. Look at that y'all. Isn't that pretty? Even on the kind of messy one. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna add one more stamp. I think I'm gonna to try to go across the top. Wow, that's gonna look really good. Okay. Let me just make sure I don't want this one. Mm. It's hard because it's already got stamp on it. I don't want to. So I could go across the top of this or I could go down the side. I think I'm going to go down the side because we haven't used this stamp yet. I'm getting a little much ink on there, but I just want to make sure it's fully loaded. You can go much lighter and make it look a little aged. You can do it however you want to do it. But once you've laid it down there on your pot, it's pretty much where it's gonna stamp. Okay. I like the idea of making it go down the sides. Now, another idea that I can add to this um, is I can add a little trim. So I think it would be cute too, guys, just if you're wanting to like really finish these out is to add a little bit of the, um, hold on. I'm trying to wipe some of this paint off. 
but you could add a little bit of the white down in here. But I was thinking you could also add some foil to the rim of your pot just to kind of make it extra cute or even up the bottom. So you see how that's kind of just finishes it up a little. And of course the plant would be coming up to that, but if you didn't have the plant in yet, you could still see. So that's that one. This is this one so far. We've got that cute little subtle stamp there and then we have this stamp here. Hey Joy, hi Connie, how are y'all this evening? I think I'm gonna add a light stamp to this one right here. Just to kinda come off of it a little bit. And I'm just using whatever was left on here by the other stamp. So see how it's a little bit more faint? Look at that, I love that. It was just whatever was left off that other stamp. You can seal it, Amy. You could put Mod Podge over all of this or you don't have to. So I'm gonna take this other stamp that has already a little bit left on it and I'm, well, not that one. I'm gonna use the same one. I'm gonna use the same one a third time, but I'm gonna barely stamp it. And I'm just gonna use the bottom of it. And see how I made it go off the end right there? So, so cute. And it just looks like a vine coming up. I extra love this one. Is that a thing like extra love? So I've got the plane on the back that kind of gives you a sneak peek of what it's gonna all be about. And then it's got that stuff right there. And you know, honestly, I could go all the way around this pot, right? I could literally go all the way around this pot. It's kind of addicting, y'all. Now I kind of know why those stamper people are a little bit fanatical. I think it's because stamping is addicting. I'm gonna just stamp this real quick. Kind of went off that tangent. Donna, you sure could. Let's see what this will do. Okay. Oh, hey, Darlene, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm getting stamps onto this and it's like getting more stamps on it than what I stamped with. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, no, Melanie, it does not make sense. Okay, I give that side a little break and I'm gonna add this over here. We're gonna just have this whole pot stamped up, aren't we? I was gonna just do a stamp, but now it looks like we're gonna do several stamps. I think it's just getting cuter each time it's stamped. That one didn't take much, but look, it's like it's aged or skipped. And I think that when I'm through, what I might do as well, yes, is uh, go back and add a little whitewash over some of the stamping just so that it, it does look a little bit um, 
aged. It's like we're adding our own like wallpaper to it, you know? Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. And you can use sides of it, you can use parts of it, you can use all of it however you want. And again, you could use all the different ones too. Different stamps, that is. I need one more stamp here, and I think we will call this one done. And I'll get, show you a little bit of the dry brush over this just to kind of show you what I'm thinking. And I like not using a bar for this because um, it gives you the flexibility to really put the stamp wherever you want, especially since it's round. Okay, we are stamped up. I need to put a few more down here, but you can kind of see where I'm going with this. There's a big blank spot here. Hey Phyllis, hey Julie, I'm so glad all of you ladies were able to join us. What have y'all got cooking tonight? My husband's in there cooking us up something good, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. A lot of times we'll just cook and then we'll say, what is it? We'll say, oh, it's dinner, it's dinner. Okay, this is it. I keep saying that, but y'all, it is like addicting. I'm just gonna put that right there. And you could literally, like I said, just go ahead and just dry stamp this with whatever's left on it as many times as you want. It's your party, the stamp's just here. The stamp's just here. So I'll show you the difference. So this is with a ton of stamps all over it. It kind of looks like a wallpaper, like it's a design, like it's the way it came. And then if you go over here, it's less. So you can kind of see how you could do less is more or whatever you like. And again, this is the one we just did a few, a few things on, but I'll probably go over this one, see where it kind of bled a lot and just kind of love it a little with the paintbrush. And you'll never, like you can soften it. And it's, it's just up to you. If you don't love the dark look of the stamp, just go over the whole thing with the paintbrush and it will soften it up, okay? So, I'm gonna hop off and I'm going to, um, I guess, maybe finish these a little bit more, continue the addiction. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bent over talking to you. But I just love how these turned out. What do you think? Do you like it? Mary Ellen says, so cute. I just love them. I think they're super fun. They're addicting. You can do them with littles. They can't really mess them up. You guys, these are like 50 cent terracotta pots and you just put a little paint on it and you stamp a little stamps and you will love it. You can always go back and stamp words. I've got words. I might go in and stamp some of these with some words. I'll add all of these to the blog when I finish so that you can kind of see how I end up decorating them. And then I'm gonna plant them too. So, you know, we gotta see if they keep little plants alive, right? Don't forget the tip about putting the paint inside of here as well, because um, I think that, that that looks so much better than, than that. <laughs> um, so yeah, finish out the pot. Yay, Roxanne said it was fun. I'm so glad you guys were able to join me. Um, yay, Shelly, new idea for your stamps. Um, yeah, 
So let's see here. Karen gave it a bunch of hearts. Roxanne says very fun. Carol, Rena, I am so glad every single one of y'all are here. I appreciate you. Um, Barbara, thank you. Thank you, Peggy. All right, so if you haven't had a chance to go look at the paddle ball, paddle ball video, do that favor for me and go watch it. And if you love it, give it away to other people. Um, they will look pretty on the ledge, won't they? I think so too. I like them. Yes, Jamie is like on to planting them. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll try. I'll do my best. I don't have a very green thumb, but we're going to try to get a green thumb this spring. Um, Marla, watch the replay. You will love it. We had, we had fun. We had a short time, but we had fun. So, oh, thank you, Kimberly. I know it's been super stressful, um, trying to figure out if I'm going to work around the system to be able to go live. Um, but yeah, yay, Darla loved it. Okay. The pots were from Dollar Tree, Brenda. They were from Dollar Tree. All right, ladies, I appreciate you. Mwah. Have a great, great evening. Bye.